Hey, Candy from Blessed Life. I'm just going to make a quick little, my opinion, video of um, the State of the Union address last night with Trump. Um, very, very happy and very pleased that he talked about the precious, um, preciousness of life and um, dedicated himself to fighting um, late-term abortions. I thought what he said was very strong language, and I was very impressed with that. He didn't hold any punches. He didn't um, try and sugarcoat it, and I really like that. I really, um, and also the people that he recognized, I think, was very important. I think that, you know, they represent in many ways a wide section of America that is um, ignored or even vilified, for example, the ICE officer that he recognized, they're oftentimes vilified by the press and the liberals. And so I think it was really important for him to stand up and say, you're a hero and thank you for your, your hard work. And I think that all in all, it was a very good speech. Um, and thank you, Nancy Pelosi, because I think that the ratings that it got a lot of that had to do with all the drama that she caused. Because when she caused all that drama, then people were... I didn't watch last year's live. I watched the highlight reel um, afterwards from the news stations. I never watched it all the way through live. But we did watch it last night, sat in our bedrooms, watched it at 9 o'clock live from beginning to end. And um, we had to watch on the computer because we live in Columbia. And we watched... Actually, we had on... Um, one of the Colombian newsreels, but of course they were um, talking over it in Spanish, and I was like, I understand Trump, so I want to hear him. I don't want to hear the Spanish um, translation of what he's saying. So, but it was interesting because they, their feet went a little bit faster than ours, and actually, um, sometimes they actually had a better angle than he did. They, um, so I, I like that. I liked. Um, there, I like to watch their version, but listen to what Trump said in English. Um, and it was interesting because I think even in South America, they made a bigger deal out of the State of the Union address. Thank you again, Nancy Pelosi, because of all the drama she caused. She would have been much better off just to let him make the speech from day one and then been able to say, well, blah, blah, blah. Um, but she didn't. The second thing, though is what was going on with Nancy Pelosi. I, I have to say, I don't like her. You know, I would love to see her voted out of the office, but I don't mean her any harm, and um, or don't wish any harm on her. And I was really surprised. I thought she looked really good. I was like, wow, I think she's had a little work done before this, you know, upcoming um, gig because she looked really good. She looked fresh. She looked, um, she looked like she just had a good face job. And then, you know, she sits down and Trump starts talking. And I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but the one side of her mouth started to drip further and further. And I really thought for a minute, I thought, oh my God, she's having a stroke in the middle of this speech. And, you know, the whole world is going to see her go into a stroke and need um, to have an ambulance come. And I was literally concerned. I was like, oh, my God, do people notice this? Are people noticing this? And also, she, there was one point, I swear to God, she, she mouthed the words, what's his point or what's your point or what is the point? Um, when it was pretty close to the beginning of Donald Trump's speech. And I thought, who is she talking to? Because she doesn't like Pence. Pence doesn't like her, probably. Um, so I don't know if she has the little microphone on and she's, you know, communicating with other people because she did that quite a few times um, and then she kept like going through his speech and I, I don't know she needs <laughs> I don't know it just really seemed like she was kind of almost having a meltdown and um, so I hope that the next one she practices having a poker face and just going for that poker face the whole time through because she really did a lousy job as far as poker faces go last night um, she, especially when he was talking about the value of life and he was like, I hope we can all support how precious life is or how important babies are and stuff. And she literally shook her head. No, no, I cannot support 
the vet and value the life of an unborn child was what she was saying. No, no. She shook her head. I was like, Oh my gosh, you can't support that. And it was, it just, I mean, that was almost more interesting watching her responses than anything that he even said. Watching Nancy Pelosi behind Donald Trump was like, I mean, it was, <laughs> I don't know what was going on with her, but I mean, I think really, um, thank God she didn't have a stroke, but I think something was happening. Something, I mean, like mental was happening with her. Um, I guess the other thing was that all the women that wore white, you know, which, um, you know, none of them are suffragettes. None of them suffer. None of them put their um, butts on the line like a real suffragette did to get the vote for women. Um, so, you know, that was kind of like eye roll moment when you realized what that was for. My sister actually Googled that for us because I was like, she said, I don't really want to watch this. And I said, well, go Google what why they're wearing the white tonight. Is it to represent this or that or anything else? Um, so I personally, if I'd have been there, I would have called all the women and said, let's wear pink to protest what happened in New York and the Eiffel, you know, um, what the Empire State Building or whatever was turned pink or something. So that's what I would have done. I would have been like telling everybody, we're pink, we're pink. Mm. But, um, sorry about that. I guess I'm a little sleepy. I, I thought it was good, but I guess I'm a little sleepy. Lunch coma time. Lunch coma. Do you ever get that? But anyways, so if you have any clue to what was going on with Nancy Pelosi and her weird mouth and her chewing, she's going, I don't know. Was she cleaning her teeth? Was she chewing on a gum? Was she, is this the precursor to her having a stroke? I don't know. Um, but she definitely was having mouth problems last night and it was weird. Anyways, good job, Donald Trump. Um, a little bit too long, but besides that, it was an interesting speech. You rec I like who you recognized. I was very proud that you recognized the ICE agents and the victims and, and the military people who have served, um, in different wars and, that was really interesting, and it's always good to hear and see people that um, need need to be recognized. Um, I think that really and truly, he does have a heart for middle America. I think he does respect the military. I might be wrong because of what he said about McCain was messed up, but um, you know, I think he really does. Respect no America. I don't think it's an act. I don't think it's a lie. Um, we'll see. But have a great day. Have a blessed day. And, you know, it's it's all, God's, in the end, God's got us. If we're Christians, we don't have to worry who's president or what they're doing or what they're not doing because in the end, God has us and we are protected regardless of what they do or say. Bye. Have a blessed life.